Hello, good morning, New Life. My name is Heather, Director of New Life and Encounter. We are so honored to have you join us this morning for John 11. We are going to go through that. So pull out your Bible and let's highlight a couple things. Um, if you heard my Sunday message, I spoke about the power of faith, how it can grow through our words. Our words are so important. Every single one of our words are either creating life or they're creating death. And so as we look through John 11, let's look at the power of words that Jesus used and also Mary and Martha. So starting in verse four, Jesus proclaims as soon as he hears that Lazarus had died, he, Jesus speaks with his mouth, a declaration, this will not end in death. So he already starts causing creation to change. Um, and I love how it's cool. It's cool where miracles actually lie. In verse 8, the disciples are freaking out, going, no, Jesus, don't go back to Judea. That's where they wanted to kill you. But Jesus still returns back to Judea, a place that was unsafe, because that's where the miracle of Lazarus raising from the dead was. Um, verse 11, he, Jesus again declared that he is waking him up. Verse 12, the disciples again had no idea what was going on. They were not living in the same faith zone Jesus was. Um, they didn't get it. Um, and verse 14, I love how Jesus still declares what reality was because there's a lot of people in the faith movement that don't declare what reality is. But Jesus says, Lazarus is dead. And so, but yet he overcomes that with the power of his words throughout this chapter. And then verse 16 is hilarious because Doubting Thomas just speaks out and says, well, let us go to Judea and we'll all just die there. Um, I'm sure we can all think of a Thomas in our life. And then verse 22, Martha makes a faith statement. Verse 23 and 25, Jesus makes another faith declaration. And then the final question is he asked, do you believe? That has to be connected to your faith. That's your point of action is do you believe now that you've heard this? And then verse 40, Jesus says, did I not tell you that if you believed that you would see the glory of God? We also talked on Sunday, the power of our eyes seeing and our ears hearing that if we're living in the faith zone, that we will open up our eyes and our ears to hear what the Lord is doing because there's a miracle in your life that wants to get unlocked, but you have to see it, declare it, and hear it. Have a blessed day.